Isn't this a nice surprise? Finding Sue and Sweep and Sooty all nice and quiet, tucked up in their beds, safe and sound. I've just stepped out of bed and fallen over on that. Oh, hurt my ankle. I'm going to have a serious word with Sooty and Sweet and Sue about this. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it could have been mm. somebody stepping on a cat's tail, Sweet, but oh. I think it was more like oh. Matthew. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning, Matthew. Mm -hmm. oh. What's the matter? Oh, well, I've I just fallen over, Sue, and hurt my ankle. Mm. Well, you really should be more careful, Matthew. Me? Mm. Be more careful? Yes. Look, this is why I fell over. It belongs to Sweet. Mm -hmm. It's Sooty's. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter who it belongs to. The point is, it was left by my bed. I fell on it and fell over. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Listen, listen. How would you feel? How would you feel if I told you that the picnic we got organised for today has got to be cancelled? Oh, no. Yeah, it's not so funny now, is it? Well, you must be more careful with toys lying around. I could have slipped and hurt myself seriously. Then the picnic would have had to have been called off. Hmm. Look, I'll go and get changed, and then we'll get the picnic organised. All right? Yippee! Ooh. Oh, I think it's going to be hot today. I think I'm going to be hot. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, what sweep. This is how serious accidents happen. I know this is how serious accidents happen. Don't leave things lying around. Just want to hurt my wrist now. Sort of go and run my bath, would you please? Go on. Honestly, first of all, my ankle and... Then my wrist. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, hello, sweet. Ow! Ooh. Am I all right? Well, yes, I will be all right. I'll spray my ankle and, uh, and my wrist. You're sorry. Yes, all right. I, I know you didn't do it on purpose, sweet, but you see, that's what accidents are. They're not done on purpose, but they can be very, very serious. Now, listen, if you want to go on this picnic, Will you uh, go and use the bathroom? Mm. I've asked Sooty to run the bath for me. Mm. Be careful now. Mm. It's all right. Ow! <sighs> Sweet was so eager to go on the picnic that he was just going to leap straight into the bath. Luckily, Sooty remembered that you should always test the temperature first. Hmm. Mm. It's a good job he did test the water, because it was very hot. In fact, it was hot enough to boil an egg in, which is exactly what they did. Hmm, quite funny. But if that had been sweep and not an egg, he would have ended up in hospital. Don't forget, you must always run the cold water first. Was your bath all right, Matthew? Uh, no, it wasn't actually, Sue, because Sooty filled the bath and he put all hot water in, forgot to put the cold in. I forgot to check the temperature and put my foot straight in it. Look, oh, I burnt my tootsies. Dear. Oh, you Ooh. are forgetful, Matthew. <laughs> That's how accidents happen. Never mind, Sue. I managed to soldier on somehow. Don't worry about it. Oh, hello, sweet. Hello, sweetie. Well, look, I've got some boiled eggs there for the picnic, so we can get... Well, right, they're in the pan there, sweet. You just tip them out. All right, well... No, don't do that, sweet! You mustn't... Ow! Ooh! I've just burnt my finger! Sweet, you must never touch pans! What do you want? I shouldn't leave them where you can touch them. No, you're quite right. Mm. Sooty's right. You should never leave pans where children can touch them. Never mind, it's not too serious. I'll bandage it later on. Look, mm. let's get these eggs peeled for the picnic, shall we? Hang on, there's one here for you, Sooty. That's yours. One here for you, sweet. Mm. Here we are. Mm. Don't drop it. Mm. Here we are. That's yours. Mm. Here's one for you, Sue. Ooh. Right, here we go. There's one for you. Thank you, Matthew. Right, let's get on with uh, peeling the hard-boiled mm. eggs then, shall we?
<laughs> look at that. For goodness sake, a handful of hard-boiled eggs. You've got to get the soft-boiled one. Never mind, we'll have it scrambled for tea. We've got to have some more eggs, haven't we? Look, here's one for... Ooh, ow. That's hot. Here's one for you, sweet. Yours is a bit overdone, I think. That's yours. Right, here's one for you, Sooty. There we go. That's for you. And I'll have one as well. Right, let's get these eggs peeled, shall we? Come on. Oh, get out on this picnic. But don't do that. Don't do that, Sooty, please. What's he doing? Well, he's rocking on his chair. Don't rock on your chair, please. Why shouldn't he rock on his chair? I know it's his chair. Don't do it, please, Sooty. It's very dangerous. Look, I'll show you why not, sweet. See? If you've got a chair or a stool like this with four legs, you don't go rocking on two backwards and forwards like that, because if you do, you might fall up. Ah! Oh! Oh, oh dear. Oh. Matthew can be so clumsy sometimes. I was going to say, or you might fall over and bang your head like I've just done. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, oh, thank you, Sue. Oh, dear, Sue. Matthew, you oh. are in the wars. I didn't realise there were so many dangers in the home. Uh, Sue, more accidents happen in the home than anywhere else, you know that. Anyway, we must get on with this picnic. Hello, Sooty. What else are we taking? Well, we've got some bread here. Well, get the bread knife, would you? Now, as I was saying, Sue, more accidents actually ha give, give me that. Ow! Oh, look at that! I've cut my finger, Sue. Can you get a plaster, please? Mmm, mmm! What, what's the matter? Why are you crying? Because you've hurt me. Oh, look, look, Sooty, don't, don't, don't feel bad about it. It wasn't your fault. As a matter of fact, it was my fault because little teddy bears and small children shouldn't touch sharp kitchen knives. Or this might happen. Or even worse. Ooh. Here's the bandage, Matthew. Oh, thank you, Oh, Sue. by the way, never mind cutting the bread because Why? I found a sliced loaf. Found a sliced loaf? Mm. That's fine. Let's get this finger bandage, shall we, Sooty? Give me a hand. Oof. Oh. Can we what? Can we take toast? Toast? On a picnic? Well, I suppose you can't get into very much trouble with toast, can you? Oh, oh, listen, apart from plugging in the electric toaster, that is, and you both know you're not allowed to touch electric plugs, don't you? Jolly good. Well, I'll give you a hand, sweet. You can watch the toast. Let's take it over there. Let's put a slice of bread in. Oh, my finger's stinging. Right, there you are. You watch the toast. You can help me bandage my finger, Sooty. Come on. That's it. Wrap it round. It's OK. Sweep! Don't touch the electric toast! You were checking if the toast was all right. You mustn't put your finger down electric toasters. Listen to me and remember this. Never, ever touch electrical equipment. <laughs> what, Sweep? <laughs> Never, ever touch electrical equipment. Yes, I see why as well. Look, would you go and play in your bedroom? Just give me time to relax before the picnic. I'm shaking all over. Look at my finger. It's... Stop making all that noise. I don't even have face. Oh, I'll have to go and see what they're up to. Oh, my ankle. Oh, my wrist. Ow. Hooray, 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 hooray. Come on, my brain light. Have it you, have it you. Come on, sweet. Come on, sweetie. Hooray, hooray. Oh, do stop all this noise, would you? Oh, no, and you can stop that as well. Is what? it time? Now, no, Matthew. it isn't time for the picnic, Sue, but there won't be a picnic if you're all not more careful. Oh. You weren't doing anything wrong. Well, I'm sorry to say, Sweep, that you were all doing something wrong, all of you. Well, even me, Matthew. Bon, yes, even bon. you. No, don't bounce on the bed, Sue. Now, that's what you were doing wrong. That's very dangerous. You could bounce off and hit your eye on that bedpost. And as for you to mm -hmm. look at these wooden swords. Just look at... You're only playing. I know, but look, they're very sharp, pointed ends, Sweep. You could poke somebody's eye out with that. Oh, yeah, well, we're very and sorry. I know, Sue. Look, just, I'll go and sort out the picnic things. Would you tidy this room up for me, please? Yes. Oh, yes. oh good. Oh, my ankle. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Oh, no, not again, oh. Matthew. Are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so, sir. Just bang my eye. Uh, what? Can you see? Well, you can see, sweet, but I don't know oh, about me. No. <laughs> take me on the picnic, Sooty, please. Just take me on the picnic. <laughs> Thank you.
We've made it. Do you know, at one point, I thought we weren't going to get here at all. But anyway, the boys are down there playing with the ball, and I'm just... I'm just going to sit here and relax. Mm. Well caught, Sooty. Mm. Oh, well caught, Sweep. Nice one, Sooty. Mm. Well done, Sweep. Mm. What a good game. Mm. Oh, well hit, Sweep. Mm. Whoops. Oh, poor old sweep. <laughs> uh, where's this going? Who did that? Can you have the ball back? No, you can't have the ball back. Play with something else. You can't have the ball back. So instead of throwing the ball, they decided to throw some stones. Good throw, Sooty. Now it's Sweep's turn. Ready, steady, go! Hmm, not bad for a dog. Now it's the champion's turn again. Move to one side. Ready, steady, go! Oh, nice throw, Sooty. Well done. Sweep's turn. But where's he throwing this one? Careful! A stone? Who threw that stone? That could have been very dangerous, that. If I hadn't had my head bandaged already, that could have hurt me. Look, if you've got that much energy, go and chase this. Green Cross Code. Mm. Listen, never go into the road with anybody except your mummy mm. or your daddy mm. or a grown-up. Otherwise, you won't live long enough to learn the Green Cross Code. <laughs> what about the ball? Mm. Never mind about the ball. I'll get the ball. Mm. Good morning. Oh, 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 what happened? What happened? Uh, oh, oh. People come to lane and, and a buffoon like you comes along. I'm sorry. I'm oh. just jolly well hope so. Don't you know your green cost code, young man? Well, yes, I do. Shut your own sweep, Nate. Now you should jolly well learn it from them. I'm sorry. I don't know what the world's coming to with young men like you. You're a danger to the community. <laughs> my patient doing? Oh, Sue, I feel as if I've been run over by a steamroller. Oh, dear. Well, you're lucky it was only a bicycle. Really, mm. Matthew, I'm surprised at you for being so careless. Well, I'm certainly paying for my carelessness now, yes, Sue, aren't I? Are. Anyway, at least I've learnt something today. I hope you three have learnt something. Mm. And I hope you've learnt something as well. Hey, would you like me to read you a story? Mm. Oh, yes. Can it be about us at the seaside? Are you at the seaside? Mm. All right, then. Because no accidents happened there. Sweet accidents happen absolutely everywhere, as you'll soon see when I read you this story. It's called Sweep's Lucky Escape. One day, 
Sooty and Sweep and Sue went to the seaside. They were having a lovely time. Sooty and Sue were busy digging holes in the sand. What shall I do? said Sweep, who didn't want to dig. Why don't you go make a sand castle? said Sooty. Well, Sweep didn't really want to make a sand castle, so instead he thought he'd go for a little wander along the beach. That was his first big mistake. He didn't tell his friends where he was going. He was quite happy wandering along, kicking his feet in the water, enjoying the sunshine. He stopped walking and stood watching the sea. Excuse me, said a voice beside him. Excuse me, is this your air bed? Sweep turned and saw a little girl with a blurp mattress, the sort that you use at the seaside. No, said Sweep, it's not mine. Well, would you mind taking charge of it for me? I found it, but I have to go for my tea now, said the little girl, and she left. It really was a very nice air bed. And the more Sweep thought about it, the more he was sure that the rightful owner wouldn't mind if he just had a very quick go on it. So before you could say, be careful, Sweep, he raced into the sea with the airbed. It was great. He lay on his tummy and splashed about in the warm sunshine. That was his second big mistake. Goodness knows how long he lay there, but the next time he looked up, the wind and the current had carried him right out to sea. He shouted to the people on the beach, but they were too far away to hear. He waved his arms, but no one saw him. He tried to paddle back, but the wind was blowing him back all the time. He felt sure that Sooty and Sue would soon miss him and raise the alarm, and then he remembered. He hadn't told them where he was going off to. He wished he had now. And he wished he stayed close to the edge of this water with his airbed. This is how people get swept away, he thought. Sweep really thought he'd had it, when he suddenly heard a strange noise. He looked up and he nearly fell off the airbed with delight. It was a helicopter and he could see Sooty and Sue up there with the pilot. In next to no time, the helicopter dropped a rope and hauled Sweep up to safety. Above the noise of the engine, he heard Sooty say, It's a good job that little girl came and told us where you were. You mustn't wander off without telling people. And never go into deep water on your own. I won't. Ever again. <laughs> Do be careful. Bye-bye. What, Sweep? Can you rise on my plaster? <coughs> Go on then. <coughs> Sue, peel me a grate, would you? All right, my See you. You have a touch, yes, Sue.